Listen, if you're in a place in your life and you don't understand what God is doing in it, you're in the right place, right? You have to trust him with all your heart, right? And that's what he's trying to get you to do, right? Because you're not going to understand everything that he's doing in your life. But the Bible says to trust him with all your heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. Right? Then it says to be not wise in thine own eyes. Meaning don't you go about what things look like and what things need to look like and how things should be going in your life. But don't go by things in the natural. Right. Because how many know God is a supernatural God. Right. And then the Bible says that his ways and thoughts are higher than ours. So we're not going to understand. It's only a certain level of understanding that he'll allow us to grasp. Right. But he knows the plans. There's a. Uh, a version of Jeremiah uh, 29 and 11, it says, I alone know the plans that I have for you. I alone know the plans that I have for you. Meaning he's the only one that knows what he's doing in your life, right? He knows the plan. He knows what he's trying to do in your life. He knows where he's trying to take you. So don't think that you got to understand everything, right? That's our problem. We feel like we have to understand everything, right? Because when you understand everything, that doesn't take faith. Right. It takes faith for you to trust God, not understanding what he's doing. Oh, my God. Right. And I'll tell you this. Right. There was a point in my life where I was at the right church and I was in I had a nice little apartment I was staying in. And I just knew that I was in the right place. I just knew that's where I was supposed to be. And then God took me and uprooted me to another place. And I didn't understand. I'm like, Lord, what are you doing? Why would you do that? I thought I was in the right place. But many times the things that God, the situations he puts us in or the things that he moves us to, they, they are seasonal, right? Things are seasonal. Nothing is going to be the same. And I've understood that, that sometimes God has to shake things up to move us to another place. Because if he doesn't, we'll stay in, a, in the same place. Right. We like the comfortable place, but God wants to do a new thing. God wants to do something different in your life. So things are going to begin to change in your life and you're not going to understand it. But one day God will reveal it to you and then you'll look back and say, God, I see why you did what you did. And I thank you for it. Right. Because sometimes God has to move you away from certain people and certain things, because many times he wants to put us in a place, you guys, sometimes by ourselves, Right. So that he can begin to work on us. So that we begin to uh, hear his voice. So that we begin to pray more. We begin to read the Bible more, right? But the place maybe you were at, you didn't have peace. You, didn't, you weren't able to do that, right? So trust God's process and trust his plan and just know that he's in control of it, right? Know that he can see the end from the beginning and he knows why he created you. There's a purpose in your life. There's a destiny that he's trying to get you to, right? But you're not going to understand every step along the way. But know that God is guiding your footsteps, right? So don't go by what makes sense to the natural mind. Because God is a supernatural God. So you're not going to understand, right? So it's a good place to be. Because he's trying to get you to trust him, right? He's trying to get you to trust him, right? So again, look to the word. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Be not wise in thine own eyes, right? So don't look at things in a natural sense because it doesn't make sense to you. Right? Trust God's plan for your life. He knows what he wants to do in it. God bless.